Ron Goodall from FightHype.com. I'm here with Gabriel Flores Jr. How's it going? It's going great, baby. Feeling good. Ready for fight night. Now, the first thing I have to just talk about real quick, though, is the ice, though. This is real clean right here. Uh, uh, this is Highline, baby. Northern <laughs> California right here. And my boy right there in Hayward Highline, Carl. Talk to him. Mm, and then in addition to that, I definitely see the shirt. And you got the you got the mama mentality right there. Can we draw a little bit some of the inspiration or where, where we... Uh, get this outfit all together from? Yeah, I mean, this all comes from how the pain, you know. Uh, I know part of that that feeling, I lost my mom's back in 2013. And uh, for a family to lose a father and a sister, or a husband and a daughter, it's, it's tough, man. Uh, like I said, I know part of that pain, and my prayers are just with them. You know, seeing, um, you know, all the adversities growing up at a young age, and then being a professional fighter, while in high school and completing that and now on one of the biggest stages in boxing right here like can we talk a little bit of some of that uh, um, to, journey get through, that through? to get through all that man and still make it to where I'm at uh, for me personally it was family family and God you know I stood in church still close to my family pops leading me in the right direction and that's what got me here man uh, keeping a clear head you know it was the hardest part keeping a clear head but um, look at me, man. I'm blessed. Now, and that's one thing is, is a beautiful thing where like, I've seen father-son relationships, but you, you can definitely tell there's a lot of care from your father, you know, and, and coming from, you know, the adversities and coming up here. Can we talk a little bit about the dynamics of how much your father has helped you out? In the yeah, man, uh, I don't have too many people on my side, so me and my pops are like this, you know what I'm saying? So uh, for sure, we know we got each other. No matter what day it is or no matter what it is, period, we got each other. So that's, how, that's why we're so tight. Now, what's really cool is that at a young age, you checked off a lot of boxes, including fighting around home and getting that, you know, right on your notch. But now you're here at the Wilder Fury rematch on this card. Where would you rank being on this fight compared to some of the other fights that you've had as like a, a fighter in this is, high school? To yeah, this, this, this is huge, man. A uh, huge thing to have on my resume for sure, but I don't think anything could top you know, the Stockton Arena fight, yeah. you know what I mean? Something will eventually come, a world title fight, me winning my first world title and all that. But for right now, that Stockton Arena fight was just electric, you know what I'm saying? And then, and then knowing your opponent, he's like, I believe 17-1 is a really tough fight right here. What do you know about him and, and what can we expect from him? Uh, he's gonna be trying to come forward with big, heavy, slow punches. So, I'm gonna pick him apart, man. You know what I mean? Like, break him down like a puzzle. And then, um, of course, lastly, of overall, um, <laughs> You were a kid who was in high school and transitioned to professional. I couldn't help but ask, but like seeing someone like Vito, a young kid, just like, does that trip you out? Just seeing like you came from that to now here, like just. For sure, man. Uh, I know Vito, been knowing him since the amateurs, you know my long time, him and his father, they know what they're doing. So uh, for him to take that stage and be in high school and be a professional fighter, for him it's good. You know, probably not for every fighter is good, but for Vito, he knows what he got to do in there. And he's not handle business come Saturday night as I'm myself. So, uh, to see him doing that, man, uh, it, it makes me proud of him and his family and his people. Uh, I'm cheering him on all the way. And the last any minute words for uh, fans and social media where you can follow you at? G underscore squad underscore boxing. That's for Instagram and Twitter. And for Facebook, Facebook Gabriel Flores. Awesome. Appreciate it. Wish you luck. How's it going? It's Ron Goodall from FlyHype.com. I'm here with Gabriel Flores. How's it going? Good, man. How, how, how you doing? I'm doing great. Big fight weekend. Big fight night coming on Saturday. Right. Obviously, your son has been on tons of great different uh, stages from being a high schooler and a professional, right. fighting around the hometown, right. to now possibly the biggest pay-per-view of maybe this year or the decade, you know? Yeah. How does that make you feel that over the course of time, you guys continue to progress into the statuses? I'm happy, man. I'm really happy for the kid. I'm happy for my son, man. Um, you know, this is where he belongs, though. You know, the more the time goes by, you guys will see, you know, what Junior's really made of, man. I think um, this is your next big star coming out of the top rank for sure. And seeing that he's so young and he's progressing as a, not just a slick boxer, but there's some highlight knockouts where it's like, man, the guy just luckily was able to wake up from it. Right. You know? So, you know what, for me, is, as long as he improves every fight, mm -hmm. that's our goal. Gabriel got to get better every fight, you know, fix his mistakes. There's little mistakes he does that I see that we need to fix, you know, get the right sparring for him, you know, get the right nutrition for him. I mean, it, it, and it's a team effort. It's not just the talent, you know. I like to say, well, you can have talent, but without, without, without a team, you ain't nothing. 
So, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate, I'm, I'm very happy he has a great team around him also. Now, you know, obviously the father-son dynamic, there's always been great things about it, and then obviously there's naysayers. Right. How do you balance that, that um, father-son relationship? It's, it's an understanding, you know, knowing how to explain communication is key to any relationship. You know, my son knows that I have the best interest for him. You know, I haven't steered him wrong. He's been number one in the U.S. since he was 11 years old, you know. So it's hard to go against something like that that's working, you know. And, I, you know, he knows, I mean, I'm here, I've been here from, from day one, you know, so, and everything's positive. And the big thing that stands out when I see you as camp, not just father and son, but I see you like family, like it's a very important thing that you guys bring in camp, For where sure. it's not just, you're performing well physically, but mentally and emotionally, is that a big it, Huge, it's, it's mental, you know, even, mm -hmm. even down to my other fighters, even down to my team, everybody has to have a purpose, everybody has to have the same goal for junior you know it, it's all about gabriel and, and our camp you know there's no eagles you know i have two video guys I have photo guys you know but there's no eagles and when you, everybody's working as a team as a unit everything works out now you know of course you guys are paving the way for the next generation of fighters in that area you know in addition to just working gabriel do you help and assist other fighters around the area um or i mean have a, I, give a little insight yeah i got a kid malachi knight he's coming out of the stockton man i keep him on the hush right now he's been sparring man he's actually <laughs> some really good guys from top rank so he's coming man it's coming soon man i got a couple other guys up my sleeve so just stay tuned have you ever thought of maybe gabriel or maybe your other fighter we're doing a little with jose ramirez has that been something that's doing the what jose ramirez what or, about him no i just seeing the fact that you got fresno and it's so close right has that been maybe something you guys can work out to do some sparring or have you oh jose definitely yeah in the future yeah gabriel's 133 right now mm -hmm. 135 you know yeah for sure we could spar jose but we haven't got to that yeah, yeah to, we, we spar to our opponents, you know? Yeah. Once we get an opponent that's similar to Jose, we definitely will use Jose. And how important is that from like a, just from a fan perspective, just breaking that down of sparring for the opponent opposed to just sparring top quality champion, you know? Because I'm sure guys would get excited just to spar a champion, but... I mean, Gabriel's been sparring world champions since he was well, 15. Yeah. So yeah, we're, sure. we're kind of past that, but so we spar mm -hmm. to the opponent, you know? Somebody's going to bring sim similar, you know, looks. Mm -hmm. that, that's basically it. But yeah, we, 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 we try to get in there with the best also. Though, man, I mean, we sparred Jojo Diaz, he was great sparring, yeah, you know, sparred Oscar working. Valdez, you know, Leo Santa Cruz, and you know, we got a long list mm. of, of champions that Gabriel sparred, um, and it's all great work. It's great for Junior, great experience, you know, learning little things here and there. Now, I have to ask because the big heavyweight fight coming from a trainer like you, you can break it down very well of a Deontay Wilder Fury rematch. How do you see this fight going? And I, I think Fury, man, I think Fury, I mean. I think he's smarter. He's more intelligent, you know. He's and I think he's more confident. You know, we had um, the opportunity to see him train the last couple of days a little bit, and his footwork is phenomenal right now, and he looks lighter on his feet. So, I mean, I, I, I think I'd put my money on Fury. Do you think that possible knockout he keeps speaking is capable? Uh, very capable. Okay. I mean, because uh, Wilder doesn't have great defense. So if he catches them and catches them and follows up, I mean, obviously it's not going to be a one-punch knockout, but it could be an accumulation of punches, you know, and following up. As long as he does his lands and follows up, I think he has a great chance. If you were like the trainer, you were uh, able to help Wilder in this fight, what would he need to do or what would you tell him to at least be able Stay to focused the whole fight. Don't mm. fall asleep. Focus, 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 and focus some more. That's You can't fall asleep with Wilder. he catch you, he just lights out. You know, but I think Fury's smart. I think he's smart enough to know that. And that's why I think he's going to come out on top. Now, um, any last message to fans or we can follow you on any type of social media or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, follow me at Coach Chief Flores. Um, and shout out to Stockton, California, man. Mm. You know, 209, the big 209 in the house. You already know. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank yeah. you so much.